Yo, what's up guys, my name is Silverman and today I'll be making a progressive drop from scratch like Madison Set goes, similar to their latest release called Shadows. Let's get straight into the video. So most of the times for their progressive house leads, they layer um, a guitar with, with their very distinct sounding super saw. So I'm gonna start with the guitar as well. And here I'm gonna go with the, um, what's it called? Uh, electric guitar, peel guitar. And I'm gonna go with the peel guitar ensemble preset. So let's write a catchy melody. So we got the guitar, then we want the classic Madison Sadko epic super sauce. For that I'm gonna use Spire. And then I'm gonna layer this one. So this is more of the, the main super saw lead, which is more uh, mono-ish. And I'm gonna layer a second one to this one that's wider and fatter. Yeah, something like this. Make it wide. Then I also want to layer um, a piano to the leads here. Uh, real quick, let's add some processing. I'm gonna do some individual processing on the guitar lead first, and then I'm gonna process them all on the bass channel. What I'm not missing, but what I wanna change on the guitar is it has a lot of body here. Around the 260 hertz, so I'm gonna bring that down a bit. And then maybe boost this area. Also add some OTT. And I'm also gonna make it a bit wider. I'm also gonna do some individual processing to the piano. Just gonna boost the highs here, lower this area, take out some of the like body of resonance. Right, now let's add some processing here to the lead bus. To the low cut, make sure there's no rumble in there. And then usually Madison Cycles leads aren't too harsh. They kind of roll off the high end quite a lot. So I'm going to, going to try something similar here, maybe like that. Sometimes what I do is instead of adding, you know, a classic reverb plugin, I just throw the end, the smile on here and then bring it up to like 40, 50% or something. So it's basically just adds reverb to it and there you go. It sounds super good. I'm going to add some EQing here on the bus channel. Maybe a little bit more width. And then just some side chain. I'm gonna probably gonna go for something like 50% or something. Right then, next up, I'm gonna add some chords. For this, I'm gonna use um, a choir plugin. So super dope. I'm gonna use this one for the chords in the background. And later on, I'm also gonna layer some synth and stuff. Definitely needs to be at a lower volume, but I think the chorus is sounding very epic. So then I'm gonna add a synth as well. Then uh, I think I'm gonna add a um, piano to the chords as well. The grand, autograph grand. Yeah, this one sounds a bit dreamy. I like this one. Just make these a bit wider, add some EQing. some OTT. 
some reverb, I guess, a little plate. With a really long decay time to make it really epic, I guess. Sidechain. Then the saw pad, also you start with some EQ. -ing. Roll off the highs a bit and then I'm gonna take out some of the low mids. And then just sidechain. And we obviously need a bass line. I'm gonna stick to Spire here. Maybe this preset. Saw bass. Gonna use this as a sub. Just do some fine tuning. Wanna have some more warmth in here. Some side chain. And I guess we want a couple, couple of mid bass layers. And also the side chain. This one sounds good too. It's quite aggressive, but maybe if you just mix it in at a low volume, it might work as well. Great, the next up we just need some drums and uh, fill sounds, ambient sounds, and then we're good to go, say. Some time ago I sampled um, their kick drum from their track Saga. We want to layer this one with, with a ride and a clap. Then I'm gonna add some, some fill sounds. There we go. Then they also have um, some type of offbeat kick drum. And then I'm gonna add some downlifter sounds. And we also need a snare for, for, for that middle section of the drop. I'm gonna add a crash here. Let me, let me copy and paste those real quick, add them here to the second half of the drop. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna shift um, all the sounds, or I'm gonna remove like the melody and stuff from, from the first beat here. Then I'm only gonna have the, the kick here. Then here on the second half of the drop, I want to add some more shakers. And maybe an additional clap just to, you know, keep, keep the energy going. And then I'm also gonna add a riser here. And then one final sound, I'm gonna add um, a vocal ambience sound just to fill up the drop and to finish it up. Make sure you have the right pitch. All right, so we're pretty much finished. Um, let's check out the final result. I'm gonna have to uh, consolidate some of the synth sounds because all the plugins are quite CPU intense. But I hope you guys enjoyed the result. If you wanna grab the FLP, check out the first thing in the description. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm gonna see you in the next one.